Mr. Girdle. <laughs> what, what about my girdle? And it was so funny. And when Susie said, Mr. Girdle, and of course I really lost it then. <laughs> but of course, I, I love Ted, and all these, all these feelings came back about Ted. Everything the man did, I just thought it was a scream, and he had the most outrageous sense of humor of anybody. Oh, I, I wish I could repeat some of uh, Yeah. <laughs> but, Danger. but I, it's dangerous, yeah. Yes. It, it, it was such a, oh, he was a wonder, what can I say? And I love that whole country. My whole experience was just a, you know, a, a Cinderella story. In fact, I was this year's Cinderella boy. You know, that was, uh, I was going to say, you, you weren't on stage, but you remember the night that the fire happened on stage? And the opening yes, number. Yes, yes. Remember that? And Keith, oh, and Keith yeah. just like what... He was smart. He was smart. He, he uh, saw the, it started with a torch burning up right. stage. And he, as Potemkin, who was wearing a robe, would pick up the torch and then turn down stage. He picked it up and tilted it just too, too far. And the liquid inside the torch ran down and then ran down the inner under curtain and set it on fire. And the, oh, I'm on stage with three other dancers. And my mask was telescope eyes. I could only see here. <laughs> and I'm pounding away. And the audience is going, <laughs> and I, all I can do is smell smoke. <laughs> and what, what, am I going to die on stage? <laughs> we were saved by it. <laughs> <laughs> Flip his robe over and put out the fire. I mean, so like just so we're not missing a beat of the song. <laughs> Time war. Yeah. <laughs> Having acted with Nick and with Fred 47 years ago in this show, I was orphan. She was yeah. beloved. It was wild tonight. These yeah. guys were amazing then. You can imagine how good they actually were then, and tonight it was just uh, so heartwarming. And Tom, um, my introduction to Celebration became my introduction to the Fantastics, and I had the yeah. amazing joy of being the boy after Michael. I took over for Michael, actually. Yes, Michael, why are you seven years ago? Michael played the boy for a few years, and then he came to us and he said, I'm the same age Christ was when he was crucified. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I should play the boy. <laughs> well, they, kept, you know. they kept calling me. I would, I would, I would end the, the role and think, I've done it the last time. Now I get this phone call, oh, Michael, we're desperate. Can you please come down and play the show? Well, I'm 31 years old. <laughs> now, I think the last time I did it, I was 34 the last time I did it. And then they called me again, and I said, no, no, I can't. Another angel is Carol Demas. Oh, oh. Yeah. In, Seattle. In, in Seattle. In Seattle together. Yeah. 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 I, I, I was a blubbering idiot when you ended today. I mean, you were wonderful, and it, this man... <laughs> <laughs> until all of his visions are are there and they keep coming so just wait you'll be back <laughs> thank you Tom for, well, for all of this for the, for the fantastics it was one for being 36 great the last time the, I played this, this, it <laughs> this can, the original cast album has, has got a great new re-engineering which it, it was really getting sleazy and it's being uh, <laughs> released and uh, in April or May uh, by Harbinger Records, the same ones who did the, the, the Hidden Treasures, and it has like a 35-page booklet, which I wrote with a lot of uh, photographs of you, but also a wonderful photograph of you uh, in Seattle, uh, you know. That so yeah. Thank you. So that... Uh, uh, the, Whoever owned that, eventually it kept going from person to person, and they kept re-engineering, and so the, the tempos, the speed, of the numbers was wrong. Everything was really rotten. So it's wonderful that that's going to be released, and it'll be available, like, for example, on Amazon and whatever. And, uh, yeah, the only and, album I have is the one that you gave us. Well, with this, no, you talk about the LP. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm yeah. talking about the CDs. Uh, they were all yeah. like... Uh, just like sort of pirate thing. Well, I, I asked. Uh, one quick uh, acknowledgement of Carol Hansel, who did the casting. And when Fred or Nick have to say anything uh, about this whole year.
working with Nick hasn't changed in 47 years. <laughs> Over to you. <laughs> the thing that drove us was like the prize was this wonderful material and this fantastic chance to to, to burnish your legacy um, and and to try and give you back what your vision is and um, and if we succeed a little bit I'm thrilled because you have given me personally such pleasure in the chance to do your work over the years, and it's just, it's part of the joy, the family of this business, to be here at the York with you. You, with you Jim, converted Jim. my legacy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but I wouldn't have missed this, uh, the chance to do this amazing material again, this wildly underappreciated score, except by people who've actually heard it. Uh, your brilliant lyrics. Uh, this was a huge event in my life when I was 20, and it was again tonight. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all very much. Congratulations.